Hey guys, how's it going? Got another video here for you. Uh, it's going to be leg day. Uh, before recording, I did walk a mile on the treadmill, get warmed up. So now we're just doing some mobility and stretching. Got this sped up for you. Don't need to watch this in real time. Oh, and in case you haven't noticed, I got me a tripod. So, going to get some better angles than the last video. Uh, starting off with leg curls. I like doing these first, get my hamstrings all nice and warmed up. Um, so they got this machine around Christmas time last year. Otherwise it's like a standing leg curl. I don't like using the standing one because for some reason my legs cramp up when I use that. Oh, there's another camera angle. So, yeah. Just going for three sets of ten on this one. I don't go to failure on these first few exercises because these are more just for warm-up sets. Oh, another camera angle. Um, yeah, just kind of warm-up exercises. Like, I don't lollygag with these. Like, these are heavy working sets, but I don't go to failure. Um, yeah. On to leg extensions. Um, I use this one. I don't like the single leg one that's right next to it. Um, yeah. It just more control, more precise on the weight per leg, I guess, with this one, it feels like. So, fellow weightlifters, notice how, like, my legs are shaking. I don't know... What I'm doing wrong there, like the weight isn't the problem, it's just, I don't know if it's because my knees aren't completely warmed up or if, like I'm setting the chair wrong. No, I'm not using the handle right there, I can't reach it. So, but yeah, any tips on the leg shake thing, leave it down in the comments, I'd, I'd appreciate it. And the hip thrusts, get the glutes and hip extenders nice and warm yes that is a hogwarts shirt i like wearing fun shirts to the gym kind of makes things a little bit more fun uh, go ahead and comment down below which house you're in if you're a harry potter fan um, does anybody else like doing hip thrusts get that stomach bloat thing i got going on there um, it doesn't feel like my stomach is puffed out that much, like my core is engaged and stuff, but I don't know if it's just because that pad is sitting like right there on my waist and kind of pushing things out or, wow, I look like a bloated jellyfish right there, oofta. Um, yeah, that's, wowza. Anyway, but yeah, three sets of ten on these first exercises and getting ready for the big heavy lift coming here. So, so we got front squats. Um, not doing back squats in this exercise rotation here. Um, doing front squats more to kind of simulate picking something heavy up in the front. Uh, one of the events for the Winter Classic is a sandbag medley. So I got to be able to pick them up off the floor. And so far, this is like the best exercise I can think of to simulate that. Um, if you got any suggestions, again, leave that in the comments down below. Um, I'm open to ideas. This gym doesn't have a whole lot of strongman equipment, so I'm kind of limited as far as that goes. Yeah. As you can see, I got the whole gym to myself, so it's kind of nice for recording. I do get a little camera shy if there's other people around, so. Doing eight sets of two with this onto, I think this is set number four. Yeah, set number four, 200 pounds. I had to break out the belt. This is... 
getting kind of tough here. So. Up to 205. That's. Now it says 215, but I don't remember if I jumped up 10 pounds or just five. I don't, and I can't see what that plate is. It could be 210, might be 215. My logbook, I leave that at the gym, so I don't remember. Uh, we jumped up to 225 and took the shirt off. I don't like training with my shirt off, but like, my shirt was getting so saturated with sweat, like it was sliding around on the bar. So I figured I'd just give it a try and it seemed to work here. So last set here, stayed at 225. Um, this is the only set of the entire workout where I do go to failure. Um, and well, I guess I only ended up with two... And just set the bar right there. Now, I'm going to end this video with a little public service announcement. Um, wipe your stuff down. It's kind of gross when you're a sweaty animal and you just leave your sweat on everything. It's really gross. Especially with this, like, I had my shirt off. I Just for the record, I did wipe down all the other equipment that I used. But, you know, we're just going to show it here and wipe your stuff down make sure you get everything you might have touched with your sweatiness and then put your paper towels in the garbage it's ridiculous and rack your weights put your toys away guys like this is i could make an entire another video of just putting stuff away that people left out at this gym it is bananas and just putting a weight on a rack is not re-racking your weights it's bonkers how people just take the weights off as they're on there so like you'll see on a peg like a two and a half a 10 and then a 45 out on the farthest like out on the end of the peg and it's bonkers so Put your stuff away, guys. There's signs all over the gym reminding you. But that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to go walk another mile on the treadmill for a cool down. So check you guys later.